don't worry, I'm a professional. What is up, my peeps? It is Deej here, and I got a little science experiment for you. Uh, my girlfriend bought these big jar of pickles. Uh, they taste like shit. Why she got so many, I don't know. Bitches love pickles. Uh, but so what I'm going to do is this trick that I used to do back in uh, Cub Scouts when I was a little guy. And we seen it on Mr. Wizards. I'm going to electrocute a pickle and make it glow for you. It's kind of like a weird light bulb. Uh, basically what happens is the salts uh, get electrified. Uh, they get aroused, I don't know, with electrocution. And when they come back to ground state, it emits a yellow light. And so that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> I guess I gotta say first off, uh, don't do this if you're dumb. You know, this is you're using exposed uh, electricity, so I'm using what precautions I can. I got this surge protector and the ceramic plate. The bottom line is, do not ever let the two power sources connect when this is plugged in. Uh, I'm gonna try it with some forks. That's what I did back in the day, and I want to try a little something different with these wires uh, this time. <clears throat> so again, I gotta say, do not ever let these touch each other when it's plugged in. Uh, you will have, you'll, you'll short out your breaker and you know if you're touching it uh, you're gonna get hurt. Uh, so we're gonna come back and it's gonna be set up. All right, here we are ready with the pickle made. Uh, I'm gonna dim the lights a little so you can see it better, but uh, like I said, do not let those forks touch each other or the wires. I went ahead and used some electric tape, forgot to mention, you probably should use a little of that in the beginning. And like I said, I'm putting it in the surge protector. I got it plugged in. It's plugged in now, but the button's off. So as soon as I hit that, that pickle should light up. If not, uh, this episode is over. <laughs> try a couple little more experiments that's that's the glowing pickle uh, all right we're gonna try some with these rods a couple of them and some other stuff all right this is pickle number two uh, I was thinking because of the salt I don't know if it's just from juices or what but I put some extra salt in there uh, it might blow up but it probably not <laughs> All right, this is my uh, third experiment, uh, probably the last, because uh, I'm going a little overboard. <laughs> uh, what I did is I took these uh, coat hangers, or one coat hanger, stretched it out straight, 
made absolutely sure that neither of these are touching. They just run parallel through three pickles. Uh, you got to be very careful. Do not let them touch. Anyway, here we go. Plugging this in. It's off. Dimming the lights. Wish us luck. Take cover, Medi. <laughs> Oh wow, that shit is crazy. All right, that's that's uh that's the basis of glowing pickles. <laughs> uh, like I said, don't try it unless uh, you know what you're doing. If you're a kid, get your parents. Uh, anyway, this is a pretty cool science tri uh, trick, uh, a parlor trick, if you will. <laughs> uh, anyway, if you like this type of stuff, uh, let me know, and I'll bring some more of it out. If you don't, uh, let me know that. Uh, later, dudes. Next time, we play with Gallium and the neighbor's aluminum engine.